Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is 50 degrees here in New York, which is like kind of unheard of for like February 3rd. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a Dollar Tree mystery box. But before we get started, I did want to mention that Huda Beauty has two mystery bags out now today. It'll only be available for two more days. I'll have the link down below in the description box if you guys want to purchase it. Of course, if you purchase through the link, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I did order it for myself, so it should be coming. But I feel like by the time that I'll receive mine, it won't be available anymore. So I just wanted to mention it here if you guys wanted to pick it up for yourself. There are two. One's, I think, 49 and one is... 89 i want to say usually her bags boxes are pretty good so hopefully that one's nice too um but yeah for today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a dollar tree mystery box so i started this series on my channel a little bit ago where i asked one of my subscribers to either curate a little box for me or one of my family members to curate a box for me i've done this for like ulta i've done this for tj maxx emma did that one and a few other places as well but i recently asked my sister if she would want to do it for me for dollar tree Okay, there's a truck right here and they better not be making a lot of noise because I just sat down. So I asked my sister if she wanted to be part of this video and she said yes. She really pulled through. Let me tell you, like the day I told her, she like hooked it up for like the next day, which I thought was amazing because usually things take time, you know. But I did also ask her to uh, film uh, the process of her actually picking out goods and kind of why she picked it out. She sent me the videos already, but I did not watch it yet. I will first unbox this and then I'll include her videos towards the end so you guys can get a feel of what she personally thought about the products she picked out and all of that. I thought that would add a cute little twist. Here is what I guess the box bag situation looks like. She legit just stuffed everything in here. She was gonna put it in a box, but and I'm like, it's fine, just like leave it. In. And then she just like taped <laughs> its whole existence. So, okay. I had to open it up from here. She got like a selection of random stuff. Not only makeup, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I already know why she got tissues. She's so funny. What? She legit filled this up with tissue boxes. I already know why, because I never have tissue boxes. Every time she comes to me and then she goes to the bathroom, she's like, do you have tissues? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's always in the closet. Okay, so first up, I see that we have this. It says beautiful. It's like a little decal, I will say. Yeah, like you stick it like on the wall. It's cute. I don't know if it would be one I would pick up. I feel like in this video, I could be super harsh because she's my sister and I can kick her butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, what is this? Um, no, but it's it's cute. I'm thinking maybe I'm... What, look, once I revamp up my space, I'll be able to kind of put this somewhere. For a dollar, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Then she also picked up the Conceal Correct um, Reduces Yellowness, like color corrector basically. So it's the lavender one. I usually don't use color correctors, so I don't know. But I guess I could use this maybe for my mom when I actually do her makeup. Sometimes um, color correctors could come into play. So maybe that one will work out well. It's from LA Girls. It seems like it's a like a nice light color and it it seems like it's good quality like you didn't see okay then she included some puffs tissues when i was a kid we weren't able to really afford puffs tissues because it was always like two something or three something but it's like shocking to me that like we have them now at dollar tree and it's a dollar so i'll take that another box of puffers another wait <laughs> there is another she is so funny. What is she getting me? Oh. <laughs> I love her. This is the Muscle Rub um, Fast fast Penetrating Relief for Muscle like Cream. I have a lot of neck pain and back pain. I think it's due to anxiety. Um, so I'm always telling her how everything hurts me. And she probably had enough. But I use like usually like Bengay or something to kind of like uh, loosen up my muscles. Uh, so that's probably why she picked this up. I've never tried the Dollar Tree one, but it's definitely one that I'll put to use ASAP because... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when I'm having those moments, like... Yeah. And then she picked this up right here from LA Girl. I think I owned this in the past, but I don't, like, know if I got this specific color story. Or maybe I actually did get this, but I did get this specific color story. We think alike. This legit smells like my childhood just like whoa but we get 12 shades in here we get purpley tones mainly and some browns this kind of sucks i think that i've tried this in the past but i think it's cute that you picked it up like it's an eyeshadow palette for a dollar maybe i'll do like a dollar tree get ready with me video let me know if you guys would want to see that um she picked this up for me as well which i could see where she's coming from but no nah, i don't think so <laughs> i'm not gonna use this for anything <laughs> maybe maybe i will maybe not she's so funny 
She got me these flowers. These are beautiful, I have to say. Love this color. One of my favorite colors is purple. I also love orange and pink, but I think my ultimate favorite is probably purple. I don't know, I keep going back and forth. So it's cute that she kind of chose out um, these flowers based on you know, what I like. She didn't just choose a random shade, but yeah, we got um, four of them. Four, four dollars for that. She also got me a pack of ponies, which for me, I'm like, yes, because I, I always lose my ponies. It's like a thing that just always happens. I have no idea where my ponies are. Thank goodness for um, scrunchies because you can't like really lose them so easily. But this, I feel like you could. Very happy to have it in my life. She also got me some <laughs> earplugs, which I thought was pretty thoughtful because um, sometimes, like especially on the weekends, it could get really loud here in my neighborhood and I just want to go to sleep sometimes, you know what I mean? So I just like could throw these in, you know? I've tried these from Dollar Tree and they were good. They're not like the ultimate best, but they still kind of work, so I'll take it. Um, then she picked up these clips, which I thought was so cute, which I think is so cute. I'm so gonna like rock this right now. Yeah, I'm like sweating beyond over here and this could be a vibe. I don't know. One second, let me fix it. These are actually really good. Like it's good quality. It actually holds onto the hair. I have very thick hair, so a lot of times it'll just like not hold. A dollar? Three for a dollar? We will take it. And I love the color. It's like a marbleized vibe. Yes, I would recommend. It's really, really good. Then she picked out this silicone blender. I feel like these used to be so popular back in the day. I actually personally have never, ever tried it. I thought it was kind of BS, to be honest. It just didn't make any sense to me. More of a product that I figured would just bl like like smooth out the product, not necessarily blend out and sink into the skin kind of thing, you know? What I can probably use this for, though... One second here. <laughs> okay, Ugh, it feels disgusting. It feels like a piece of goo or something, but really for a dollar, it's like not bad. I mean, these typically don't retail for way too much, but honestly, what I would probably use this for is masking. I think it would be real, a really good applicator for that, and it's pretty cooling on the face. Probably would never buy this on my own, but since you gave it to me, thanks, Nance. <laughs> then I see... Ooh, this is pretty solid. So a lot of you guys have actually been telling me that they have Maybelline at the Dollar Tree. And I'm like, I when before she she went basically that's where I'm like, nah, so just get like good stuff. So like, don't tell me what to get. And then I'm like, yeah, but I think they have Maybelline there. So just you know, keep your eyes open. <laughs> she ended up getting me this, which I think is so cute. I personally have not seen this when I went last time. I saw their mascaras, but I haven't seen this nail polish duo. I love nail polishes. I try to switch mine up every single week. I'll probably use this next time I go. I actually just went yesterday. Um, wow, cool. But we literally get like a black, this looks like a solid black. I love black nail polish. Black and white are my favorite. And then we also get, I'm sorry. And then we also get this street art blue one, which looks super cool. I feel like this would be really beautiful for like the accent finger. Hopefully the formula is nice. I think I've tried one of their polishes years, years, years ago and it, was, it wasn't bad. So we'll see. I'm just, I'm so thrilled. I'm not. Thank you. Next, um, we got some baby wipes. And I cannot believe they little legit have Huggies at Dollar Tree. It's a really solid brand. So like at Target and stuff. So to see that at the Dollar Tree is amazing. Um, she got the fragrance free one. I think I told her last time how I like fragrance free baby wipes. She's like, what do you mean? Why? I'm like, I feel like it just doesn't make you smell. She's like, but if anything, fragrance would make you smell better. I'm like, yeah, but then your smell and then a fragrance kind of colliding together. I feel like fragrance free is better. She's like, you're not making any sense. I'm like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Anyways, you know what I'm saying? Baby wipes, wipes in general. I'll use it. I'll take it. Um, okay. She got me another one of these. And nah, I think I'm just going to give this back to you. I don't, I don't really like these things from Dollar Tree. This, I don't really love. My mother probably could use it for like her arts and craftsy kind of stuff. I appreciate that, but... Nah. I'll get back to you. Okay, then we have this right here. This is the Red Wine Purifying Sheet Mask. I'm always hesitant when it comes to the skincare products at Dollar Tree. I feel like I just don't know like really what's on the inside and like if it's like crappy or not. Well, when I went to like Target and even like TJ Maxx and stuff, they also have like masks that have... I mean, just looking at the ingredient list here that are like similar ingredients to this. So I don't know how bad or good this necessarily is. Let's see here. It says, helps clean and clear pores with the help of protecting power of red wine extract, vitamin B3, and witch hazel. All right. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Next, we have this right here from e.l.f. So a lipstick of theirs in the shade Sociable. This is so pretty. It seems like a reddish color. I remember we, we used to own this now, right? Anyway, here's what the lipstick looks like. Let's see. 
seems like a really really nice formula it seems very creamy love this shade so nice uh, for going into the summer and spring spring months I would say and it smells like candy that line always reminds me of like from friends when that kid was like candy and Chandler was like no we don't have any candy <laughs> next up we have this right here from LA colors this is the eyeliner duo um, I've tried this and I honestly think it's it like tugs on the eyes, it scratches. Definitely not the best is. I'm not gonna open it up and be wasteful just to swatch it. Maybe I'll gift it to someone else or find some use for it. But just to let you guys know, sometimes you will find gems in the Dollar Tree, but this, I just didn't find that it worked out well. Liara would not recommend, but not. Thank you for thinking about me. Then we have this right here from Broadway Colors. It's the Contour Artist uh, Cream Palette. So this is one that I personally have never seen there, so not good job on this. She's really good, my sister. Like, she really gets down. She gets, she gets in the zone, you know? For me, I'd probably just pick up like three um, forks for her and be like, here, here's your mystery box. <laughs> but this looks kind of intriguing. I'm really curious to see if it's good or not. We get two color correcting shades and then highlighting shades and then um, bronzing shades as well. Let's see. Not bad. It really doesn't feel bad at all. It actually feels amazing. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to use this in my Get Ready With Me Dollar Tree video. Next, we have this right here from Hard Candy. Okay, Hard Candy is also a pretty solid brand that, that is sold, I want to say, mainly at Walmart. We don't have a Walmart in the boroughs. Um, I know that they have like an upstate New York and on the outskirts of Queens. But like in Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, Staten Island, and what are the other? Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, Staten Island. Yeah, those are the five. So we're not going to really have a Walmart in the boroughs because then every other store will go out of business. But um, so I never really have a chance to go. And I mean, there were times that I did want to try out hard candy, but like I didn't know if I wanted to order online. It would be a vibe to go into the store. But anyway, basically, long story short, this is from Hard Candy, sold on, 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 on Walmart site. Wow, that was a long explanation for one thing. I love mist. You guys know. This smells amazing. Very fresh. It has charcoal to detoxify, anti-blue light, anti-pollution, antioxidant, 12-hour protection. For a dollar, really not bad. I think that at Walmart, this would probably be around the $10 price set. Two last items left in here. Um, so firstly, we have this LA Colors Liquid Liner. I don't know if I've ever tried this specific one. Okay, not bad. It, it feels, it, it, yeah, it definitely feels very, very liquidy, very watery. So I'm thinking that I just don't want it to like go that into my actual eye because um, I've had that in the past. Maybe I should use a little bit and then build up from there. But it seems pretty black, pretty opaque, and I guess pretty promising to an extent. And the final product she picked up was this right here from LA Colors. It's the Shine Bright Shade. I've tried one of the highlighters like this in this packaging and didn't really love it. This is a really beautiful, more like golden-y type of shade. I found that the formula of these highlighters are a little bit more on the thicker side. I mean, if you kind of like work it into the skin, it could work out well. But it's not a highlighter that I'm like, oh my goodness, for a dollar, I mean, I think it does do the job. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think she did pretty well. I mean, I'm happy I didn't get any forks. She picked out a little bit of everything. We got some makeup, some floral items, some hair goodies, and I mean, just some items that I personally like really need. I needed tissues, you know? I actually really enjoyed unboxing this. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I'm just gonna go ahead and insert her clips now of what she chose out for me and why she chose that. I'll see you and I'll see you guys towards the end. All right, so our goal here is to spend $20, $25. Um, most is probably going to be makeup and then the rest is just other items in the store that I think she would like. Right, I'm going to go through this section and then I'm going to go through the store to see what else I can get for her. So I'll be honest, I don't know any other companies except for e.l.f. So I'm going to focus on that and then add- oh, Maybelline! I was excited to see Maybelline but this is the only thing they sell here that's Maybelline nail polish. So I'll grab it too. I was going to grab one of these one second, but it looks like someone already opened it and tried it out and put it back on the shelf. Alright, first things first, I feel like my sister uses a lot of these facial things, so I'm going to grab one of them. You know what? I found something else. My sister likes to drink wine lately. This is red wine face mask. So, so far I've got these items. Most of it is LA Colors. Never heard of that company before, but that's the majority of the stuff here. This I've never seen before. 
It's like a silicone blender. I don't know if she owns one of these, but uh, let's see. My sister has back pain sometimes. Um, she probably go to like a Walgreens or Rite Aid to grab one of these things, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see if this works. I think my sister asked me for these in the past. They're earplugs. Uh, I don't know if it's to help her sleep better or just cancel out noise generally, but it's a dollar. I don't know how effective they'll be, but we'll see what she said. I'm in the flower section right now, and I think I'm just gonna grab her favorite color. Wow, this is really hard to do. I like these purple ones, but I'm gonna take three so it looks fuller. I was gonna take two, didn't look full enough. Maybe I should take four, but I'm gonna consider this as one purchase. So I found these martini glasses. And since my sister likes to drink wine every so often, um, I think it'll be fancier to drink it in these. Have her put an olive in it. I mean, not like hard drinks, but some some good wine. I think I'm gonna get her one of these decals. I'm not sure which one. Well, this one is just too cute. Laundry room. And then just read that. That's adorable. I'm gonna take this one. Be beautiful. This is gonna look adorable. She came to me and she needed tissue boxes, so I'm gonna buy her a few. I grabbed three things from that aisle. Um, pack of ponies, some clips, and they have huggies for a dollar, so why not? Everyone needs these, right? I'm these martini glasses, and since my sister likes to drink wine every so often, <laughs> Um, I think it will be fancier drinking in these. Have I put an olive She's in it? She's so funny. We know like hard drinks, but wow. Okay, now I feel kind of bad about these because I was just thinking about this in a way where she bought it for decor and I wasn't feeling it, but yeah. To actually drink in? Nah, no, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, my love. I love you. I'll use it. I'll use it. Are you with me? I was just watching all of the videos. She's hilarious with her explanations. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.